And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. I'm Pete Gray. Rock Cod Rick Maxa is on the Royal Star. Hopefully we'll hear from him during the show today. Co-hosting with me today, our phone guy, Mr. Ryan Christensen. And boy, have we got a great guest for you today. Mr. Bill Boys. What do you say about Bill Boys? Photographer, TV star, and so much more. You're going to learn about it right here. Southern California's Sport Fishing Voices. Let's talk hook up on the Mighty 1090. The Sport Fishing Association of California is taking a leadership role to broaden the fishing opportunities for Southern California anglers. And Saturday, December 12th, Pete Gray will be traveling to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, with the president of SAC, Captain Ken Frankie, and his staff to host a very important live broadcast from Pueblo Benito Rose Resort in Cabo. The broadcast will feature some key personnel from Mexico fisheries and help strengthen the ties with the sport fishing fleet in Southern California and Mexico. They will also discuss Discuss the great fishing opportunities available in Cabo San Lucas. SAC's mission is to promote tourism through marine recreation and educational activities while protecting ocean resources. By working together with Mexico, we can show our care for the resources, both at home and across the border, and our desire to take an active role to help protect the future of our fisheries. So mark your calendar for Saturday, December 12th. A very special live broadcast from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, with the Sport Fishing Association of California. Check CaliforniaSportFishing.org for more information. The new Shimano Torium HG is here, and you'll be able to experience this fantastic reel now at your local Shimano dealer. The new Torium is up to 30% smaller than the previous generation, but still has the same line capacity. The smaller S compact body design and one-piece die-cast aluminum frame provides more rigidity and lighter weight. Torium now has EI surface treatment and has tested up to 700 times the corrosion resistance of past models. The new Shimano Torium Torium HD is not only better on the outside, the inside is amazing. With a cross-carbon drag providing up to 24 pounds of drag pressure from a star drag reel, it has a sealed roller clutch and 6.2 to 1 brass gears. The machined aluminum handle has a larger knob to make it easy to crank in the big fish. The new lightweight aluminum spool gives you better casting and control. Available in three sizes, the Torium HG is the next evolution in compact, rigid, and powerful saltwater star drag reels. Get it now at your local Shimano dealers. Discover the reliable Yamaha four-stroke family. This versatile line of outboards is available in a range of horsepower with exciting new additions like the advanced technology next generation F-115 and F-200. Both the F-115 and the innovation award-winning Yamaha F-200 are the lightest double overhead cam four strokes in their classes. The original F-150 delivers legendary reliability, and the all-new F-175 creates a convenient new horsepower tier. Compact, lightweight Yamaha four strokes, perfect for repower and ready for anything. Find them today at your local Yamaha Marine dealer. I'm very excited to share my experience with the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 touchscreen chart plotter and sonar unit I just installed on my boat. I've been a Simrad Electronics fan for many years and always enjoyed the ease of use and incredible technology. Last year I installed the new 4G broadband radar and could not believe the difference. So this year I upgraded to the new NSS Evo 2 and it's amazing with an easy to use tablet style interface that's fresh but familiar the Simrad NSS Evo 2 combines a multi-touch screen with push-to-select rotary dial for precision control and speedy response. The core of any marine electronic for me is how it marks fish, and the new NSS Evo 2 with built-in sonar hub sounder technology, including chirp and structure scan, can't be beat. Now, the true test is whether I need to pick up the manual to figure it out. And guess what? The new Simrad gear is so easy, I didn't need it. There's a lot more to the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 system I'd like to tell you, but best to just go to your local Simrad dealer and check it out. Or see simrad-yachting.com for more details.
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here along with Ryan Christensen. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Bill. Great to hey. have you as the co-host today covering for us uh, for Rock Cod Rick and me as I jump on a plane to go ahead for Port of Arda and get on the journeyman this afternoon with Captain Russell O'Neill. And uh, Bill Boyce, great to have you, man. It's been a long time. Yeah, a year. Yeah, a year. <laughs> and this is kind of your annual deal. You come into Let's Talk Hookup and uh, a lot of times, but you're... Your life has changed pretty dramatically here in the last, since we had you on Let's Talk It has. Yeah. God, you know. So tell us about it. What's been going on with you? Well, you know, I mean, there's doors in front of you. And some people, you know, kind of creak and open them, and other people kick them off the hinges. And I, <laughs> this year, I just kicked it off the hinges. The um, We've been doing that IGFA English Digest series for, gosh, five years now, and um and you know, lots and lots of international travel, and that just wears you out, as you know, Pete. You get up, you get up and around, and, and we covered that uh, tuna tournament for Western Outdoor News last year for a WFN feature right after the hurricane. Yeah. And, man, I tell you what, I saw Cabo, and I couldn't believe that in seven weeks after that hurricane, they were already back in business, and I thought to myself, that's pretty cool. There needs to be some accolades done to the, to the Mexican people. Pretty amazing what they amazing. did there. It really was. Yeah. Unbelievable. So I thought and it was destroyed. It was. Yeah. Oh, it was wiped off the map, and they came right back. You couldn't even tell. You yeah. go there now, you can't even tell. Yeah. And um, so I thought, man, that's pretty cool. I did a Baja series for WFN a couple of years ago. That was a, that was really, really well uh, received. So I thought to myself, and I talked to some people at Tourism Board down there, and they go, man, could you do another one with Baja series? It would really help us out down here. So I just said, absolutely. So we, we didn't do IGFA this year, and we did Destination Baja Sur, which is 13 episodes only in Baja Sur, right, the southern state of Baja. We did 13 episodes, took my boat and my truck down there, and we want to show people that, hey, Baja Sur survived this thing. They're fine. Yeah. But above and beyond that, the culture, the people, the cuisine, all the amazing things they do in Baja that everybody's so scared now to go to Mexico, and yet you have stuff that happened in San Bernardino this week that doesn't really happen yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a exactly. very good point so, there. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, we had a ball. Great fishing, great people, great friends, and just uh, you know, how fun. Yeah, so, so where did you where did you film? From where to where? Yeah, we started in Loretto. Yeah, and then we did Mag Bay with Gary Graham. Oh, with Gary Graham yep. was on the show. And Harvey day. Tucker, right from San Diego Anglers, and, uh, oh, and then we Harvey. Went, oh, yeah. with, um, uh, Ch- Chalupa. Chalupa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like fishing with Santa Claus. It was yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Harvey's a character. He is. He's awesome. <laughs> We did La Paz. We did East Cape. All three of the different little, uh, the places down there: Palmas and Rancho, and uh, and um, and then uh, obviously Buena Vista Beach Resort. Yeah, John Ireland told me you were at Rancho. Yeah, Rancho. we had a great time with John. Palmas. And then we did uh, San Jose del Cabo, and then most of our stuff was in Cabo San Lucas, you know, because that's where we really wanted to uh, promote. That's where a lot of our sponsors came from, and yeah. really wanted to use it. But we did everything from motorcycle riding to the Ironman competition to. Um, a lot of scuba diving, free dive, spear fishing, and then, you know, tons and tons of fishing, golfing. We did all the activities you do in Baja Sur and put it into the show. It's kind of a, an Anthony Bourdain-style epi- uh, series. Very yeah, nice. Cool. That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. Because it, it shows, it showcases uh, all the different things that Baja Sur is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Destination Baja Sur. Sur. Yep. It's and when, can, when are we going to see it? Yeah, it starts in January on in NBC January. Sport. On NBC Sports. Uh, okay, and then we'll, we'll keep be... our listeners posted on that. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, NBC Sport and Pursuit Channel in you know, Q1, Q2, which is January to the end of June. And then Q3, Q4, which will be July to December. It'll be on WFN, right, World Fishing Network, and Wild TV Africa. So we're in 128 million homes next year. Wow. Wow. 336 airings. Did you have any idea you're going to showcase with a big star here? Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? No. Well, it's just Bill just Boyce. You know, he's our guy. He's, our, he's, he's <laughs> been our guy for a long time. And Bill Boyce has been around here in this fishing world with as our, as our brother here for, gosh, 25 yeah. years, right? Yes, 30 uh, years. Yeah. When, you, when I first met you, mm-hmm. you were diving mm-hmm. in nets on Persane boats and doing uh, observer yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, we're right? the Inter-American Tropical Community Mission. Yeah. Here at Scripps. As, a, as, a, as a biologist, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doing observing. And, mm-hmm. and then you, you uh, created a, a voice image and mm-hmm. all those incredible uh, images that a lot of us have on our walls yeah, that's uh, fun. That, uh, of, the, of tuna in the nets and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, you have. I'm sure you have one. Don't you? Oh yeah, I have yeah. them all over my apartment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and so, what's happened to Boyce Image? Oh, we still take tons and tons of photography, but this time instead of you know, instead of primor- prioritizing the fact of selling them retail, now we're putting them into the shows as, um, as uh, you know, as as part of the uh, production. Yeah. Um, I'll be at Fred Hall this year, but I got to tell you guys, I got some new stuff cooking. 
Cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's exciting. You were telling us a little bit about it. Tell us about what that is. Well, we're starting. Actually, we haven't, we've haven't. we been doing this for two years, and uh, we're finally going to kick it off, and that's called the Dollar Fishing Club. Kind of fashioned after the Dollar mm-hmm. Shave Club. Yep. Right? Where on that, you get, you know, for a buck a month, you get a razor blade, which he admits probably will shred your face. So you <laughs> might want to get the $6 or $9 yeah. blade, you know? Yeah. But or, the, or the optional plastic surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Or laser. Yeah. Uh, personally, I just use Nair. <laughs> shave with, but no. Yeah. Um, so actually, we're fashioning after that, right? But with it, we've got that 160 foot mothership. It's called the Pacific Provider. Oh man, we remember that. Yeah. Have you been on it? I, I lived on it for a week during the you Cabinet of Classic. Boat. It's this awesome. Thing is unbelievable. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty amazing. It's, it's, been on right I on? haven't been on it, but I've seen it. I've seen pictures oh, of guys, it. Guys, we're so stoked. We're bringing this boat back. The last several years, we've been doing submarine charters all over the world. It was in the Mediterranean. Submarine chart. Yeah, you got these guys, these zillionaires that want new toys. They buy these $3 million Trident submarines. Yeah. Oh. So they go out and they nice. buy these submarines at like a Miami boat show or a Fort Lauderdale boat show, but then they need a place to launch it. Oh. And live on. Perfect. And live <laughs> while on. they're going. Right. So, I mean, there's a lot of beautiful mega, mega yachts mm-hmm. in the world. There would be a great place to live on, but none of those boats are going to take a... You know, three million dollar submarine that weighs that much. Put it on a wooden teak deck, yeah, yeah, and beat the heck out of that boat, bring it up and down off the water. So they really need like a commercial operation style boat, but they don't want to live like a commercial fisherman no. on some mackerel scowl. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the Pacific Provider fits that perfect puzzle piece where you have a commercial style boat on the inside, but absolute you know penthouse luxury, luxury. on the inside. It's a five star chef on board, oh, yeah. incredible That's meals. Sick. Yeah. So, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So. You're stealing it basically from the submarine boys, yep. and you're going to make it the Dollar Fishing Club. Yeah, Dollar Fishing Club, right. A buck a month. Now, check this out. So $12 a year, right? And you got your member, and as soon as you sign up, you get points, and those points can be used to buy our sponsors' products on the website for free. All you do is pay the shipping, right, but just by utilizing your points to purchase stuff. So we have sponsors coming on board because they want this stuff exposed. We have right. a TV show associated with it. Mm-hmm. It'll be like a reality-based TV show where all these winners each month We'll have, like, the the person who in that month got the most points, so they win, and they get to bring a friend. All expenses paid. We're paying airfares and everything down to get where the boat's going to be. It's Wherever be. the boat might be. Exactly. At the that's time. Good. That'll change, but we'll be in Baja this, this year. And so, and then the person who has um, the most referrals for getting new members, that person's going to win a trip. And then the person who submits the best video and the person who sets, submit, uh, submits maybe the best photograph, uh, you know, the criteria will change um, to where people can actually earn these trips on this boat, right? Awesome. It's four people at a time, so we'll have eight people on the boat, and we'll be filming a TV show where we kind of get them together and just mess with them, right? So you have a chance yeah. to win a trip every month? Yeah, every month. Wow. We'll oh, absolutely. And that'll be filmed, and we have NBC already going, man, we want first shot of that show, and, and Pursuit Channel is really excited about it. So we've got, yeah, people. And so awesome. instead of the submarines, you're going to have game boats on the back, absolutely, like, like on the stern of the boat, yes. where, like they used to have. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll have my boat. I got a 25 center console. We'll have a we'll have a, a 25 Sea Fox. The boat already has a 22 center console on it. And then the Conte fleet down in Cabo, they want to be like our official fleet of the of the uh, of the thing. So we'll have the Conte boys. They have these beautiful Cabos. I mean, you know that fleet, oh, yeah. really, really, really buttoned up uh, folks. So they'll be on it. And then we're going to take the boat up and up into uh, Mag Bay and Asuncion, and then up into the Sea of Cortez, up past Loreto, and and have some some fun. Yeah. Wow. So, how does one become a member? When is it going to get? Yeah, launched? we're going to we're going to soft launch it in January to okay. friends in the industry. Yeah. Go through the website, make sure all the bugs are out of it, and then uh, hard launch it in uh, February. So it's and not so- available right now. No, I mean. Um, no, no, we don't want it. Uh, we don't want it out until we get all. The I'm sure you already have the URL locked up, right? Oh, absolutely. Dollarfishingclub.com. Dollarfishingclub.com. <laughs> but above and beyond, above and beyond winning trips, all kinds of discounts. You know, we've got a uh, marineoutdoor.com. It's going to give us 20% discount on everything. And they have 40,000 SKUs in the marine industry, from bilge pumps to bait pumps to fenders to electronics. 20% off uh, to members. Wow. 20% off. I'm not talking about for one week yeah. or a day. Like for no. anybody. That's yeah, so if you own a boat or a kayak oh, and man. floats and you need stuff for it. Don't have to pay those high, yeah, member, high prices. 12 bucks a year and you're getting 20% off on, you know, on electronics. <laughs> one purchase, you got that back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's really, really cool. And well, travel, guide services, all that stuff, discounts. Yeah. King sail, excuse me, King sailfish mounts, 20% off on all those mounts. Wow. 
And then we've got uh, big sponsors that are going to give us substantial discounts on products. Man, you've been working hard. Oh, man, I tell you. That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy I'm stuff. getting too old for this stuff. Yeah, please. so tell me, are you going to be at Fred Hall? We will, but I won't have my photography. I'm oh, going to have, won't. oh, we're going to have Dollar Fishing Club. Oh, okay. So people can sign up at Fred Hall. Yeah. And at that point, the, the thing will be launched. It's, it'll be up and running. It'll be ready to roll. Yeah. yeah, and then the boat's going to be in San Diego here. We're bringing it back from Tahiti. It's been there on a submarine charter. Yeah. So the boat comes back to San Diego in February, and we're going to have a big, uh, in fact, we're going to have a big uh, um, Super Bowl party on it. Oh, so cool. out, yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Beer, <laughs> beers, brats, chicken wings, all yeah, kinds of fun stuff. But then um, we'll, we'll put the TV production facility on the boat uh -huh. so we can actually shoot, edit, and do voiceovers and everything on the boat. Awesome. Yeah. Life is good for Bill Boyce, all right? <laughs> yeah. He's been working hard all his yeah, life, man. though, and you certainly oh, deserve it, Bill. Thanks, bro. And thanks. You, you good, good stuff that comes to good people, and, the, and you're certainly one of those guys. Uh, and you as well. You as, as well. As you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. We haven't even entered into <laughs> the adventures of Bill Boyce and some of the things that he's seen <laughs> in his scary. life, uh, some of the uh, fishing tips that he would have for everybody. Mm. So you want to join us, give him the numbers, Ryan. Uh, good. we got plenty of room on our toll-free line. 877-792-1090, and our, our uh, 858 line's packed up. It's 858-457-1090. There you go. And we're gonna you're going to have a chance to win? A three-quarter day trip on the San Diego. Wow. Go fishing with Captain Ryan Boshin and the gang over there and go catch some tuna in some December. December. How about tunas. that? Huh? It's crazy. <laughs> They're still it. catching, too. And uh. this week, a beautiful week of weather again. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, time to go fishing. So when we come back, we're going to take your phone calls. Talk more to Bill here with Ryan Christensen, our phone guy. And Adam is on the board as well as the phones today. We got it all covered here on Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty Ten Night. The summer fishing season this year was nothing short of incredible. And everyone I talk to is expecting continued success well into the fall season. Your San Diego County Ford dealers are having a remarkable summer too, with no sign of slowing down. They continue to hook people up with a great selection of models that offer outstanding MPG and advanced technology, like the fun-to-drive Focus and the popular Fusion, available as a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid. Ford also has an impressive list of SUVs, like Escape, Edge, Explorer, and Expedition. Well, no matter what you need, Ford has an SUV for you. And for serious fishermen that have boats to haul and gear to move, you can't beat the Ford F-150. It's not only stronger than ever, it's 700 pounds lighter, so it's faster and more efficient. Bottom line, Ford cars and trucks and SUVs are built for San Diego. Stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all those miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. Yeah, it just tastes better. We have paddle boards, we've got kayaks, we've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pockets. We have dive ships. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment, very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252, 646-BAHA. And RanchoLandNero.com, it's unique. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 55 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built for ultimate performance on the water. From our next-generation fishing shorts like the Tactical Camo or Stealth Shorts to our AFBlock sun protection shirts like the Fish Ninja and Samurai Sun Hoodie, the entire AFCO clothing lineup is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and designed with functional features to deliver top performance for the demanding angler. Visit www.afco.com to find a dealer near you. Cedro's Tackle has some great news. They are expanding to offer you new adventures to complement their fully outfitted tackle shop right on Cedro's Island. Cedro's Tackle will now offer kayak fishing and tours. The adventure includes deluxe accommodations in Cedro's Tackle's own brand new three-bedroom, two-bath cottage that provides all the comforts of home, yet gives each guest their own private space to rest after a long day of fishing and fun on Cedro's Island. The kayak adventures include the use of full 
fully outfitted Hobie Outback Mirage Drive kayaks. Perfect for fishing, spear fishing, snorkeling, and more. Your Cedros Tackle Kayak Adventure includes transportation to our remote location, either by Ponga or truck. While you are out fishing, the crew will set up a relaxing day camp, including a barbecue lunch. Have the kayak adventure of a lifetime without the work. You just fish and enjoy. Cedros Tackle can even take care of all your equipment. So for your next trip to Cedros Island, try a kayak adventure with Omar, Jeff, and the gang at Cedros Tackle. For more information or to help plan your trip, check the website at cedrostackle.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Uh, Pete Gray here with Ryan Christensen co-hosting with us today. Adam's covering it all on the boards there. Thanks very much, Adam. So when you call, be nice to Adam because he's got a lot to do today. <laughs> double Mis- duty. <laughs> yeah, double duty. Uh, and thanks to Ryan for sitting in while I uh, jump on a plane here, Alaska Airline flight nonstop, San Diego PV. Be on the journeyman this afternoon and uh, headed out to the Big Tuna Grounds. Talked to Russell quite a bit. We heard got a report from him yesterday on the journeyman. Uh, fish are biting. They're biting a lot of hundred pounders, and he said they had a couple cows. Good. So it's uh, it's good timing. He also mentioned yesterday. I was thinking about what an opportunity this was that he had an open party three and a half day trip, February twenty fifth through the twenty ninth. That's open. They have nothing else open, but they have this spot open for open party three and a half day, February twenty fifth to the twenty ninth, on the journeyman. Absolute. Stunning six-pack charter boat out of Puerto Vallarta. Russell O'Neill, the, the the best captain you could find down there. He's been there longer than anybody else uh, from this side of the line, anyway. And uh, he fishes with the top of the line guys from Mexico too on the boat. And I've been aboard the boat a couple times, and it's just absolutely no better operation. Gourmet food, uh, stunning accommodations, and the boat fishes so well. Um, so if you want to go on this, I, I would be surprised if there's very many spots on this, but you better jump on it would be my suggestion. February 25th, 29th, check out journeymansportfishing.com for more information on that. So, Ryan, let's go ahead and jump into those phones. We have one line open you want to get through, have a chance to talk to Bill, have a chance to win a three-quarter day trip on the San Diego, 877 792 All right, let's start it off with Doug. Doug's calling us from Irvine this morning. Morning, Doug. Hi, Doug. Good good morning, gentlemen. Uh, Bill, it's a pleasure to listen to you. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Doug. I've watched I've watched your uh, it, in adventures and everything, and I want you to know I hate your guts. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's scary. Um, you 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 didn't mention a series you had done recently that I really liked was uh, Bill Boyce Cali. Yes, yeah, that was a WF impression last year. We had a ton of Bill fun Boyce. What? Yeah, we did that Baja series, like Doug had said he had watched, yeah. and so it was it, it was really popular on WFN. So they wanted to do season two of Baja, and I knew I wanted to do this Destination Baja series. Yeah, I said, nah, no, nah, we can do something else. Like, well, like, what else? Where else are you connected in the fishing industry, and you got a lot of friends and stuff that would be great TV? Like, what about California? Are you kidding me? we got freshwater and saltwater fishing in California. Yeah. So we did a whole series on California, 13 episodes, nice. salt and fresh, and had a nice. flippin' blast. Where did you go? Oh, man, we started in uh, Catalina. Fish with some Tuna Club members, <coughs> and um, with Bill Buchanan. Oh yeah, right? good guy. Yeah, Steve Barons, and uh, Captain George went out. We got we got a striped marlin on twelve pound linen. Oh right? man, right right in view of Avalon. Oh how cool! And then we went up the coast to fish with uh, Scott Summergill on calicos on the backside of Santa Cruz and whacked them. Then we went up to Half Moon Bay, got salmon and lingcod, and then did San Francisco Bay. With um, uh, Angelo Kang, you know, he's oh, such yeah. a guy. Oh, yeah. Fish the Bay Area. We caught like 110 striped bass in a wow. one day. It was, Jeez, like, that's cool. it was sick. It was ridiculous. And little jigs. And then went up, uh, we did Humboldt County, and we did the Smith River up there, and we went to Humboldt State, and I did the thing there. We oh, yeah. did some bass fishing at Clear Lake. We did Lake Tahoe. Did the Feather River for Steelhead, the Delta for striped bass on the fly. Um, let's see, we did Sacramento River up out of Redding. We did uh, Eagle Lake. Oh, man, it was oh, just a blast. Oh, cool. Wow. Such a blast. What an amazing, and that was called Destination California? No, no, it was just, because they had one, it was Bill Boyce's Baja, this was Bill Boyce's Cali. Bill Boyce's Cali. Cali. Yeah, yeah. Cali, so it was a California series. Good show, huh, Doug? It was a great series. <laughs> I, I liked especially the Smith River. I had a chance to get up there on oh. business 
and the, it fell through, and I was oh. really disappointed that I didn't get to go look at the Smith. Such pretty water. All, you know, not dammed up. Still a, still a wild, river. wild river. The Smith is an amazing, amazing watershed. Good good steelhead fishing. Steelhead and, and salmon. And salmon. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's virgin redwood tree groves. Wow. Then you, you pull the boat over, and you're walking through these huge stands of redwoods. Really? That's, I'm sorry. That's, that's Humboldt crazy. County. A lot man. of people? or Very few people. Wow. Yeah. What time of the year is a good time to go? I want to go. Well, because, of, yeah, there's, oh, there's runs of fish that start there, like, in September. And then you've got, so in the fall, it's a salmon fishery. And then, and, and there's also fall steelhead. But, then, you know, it's big winter steelhead. The, the winter steelhead are the big fish, yeah. right? So January, February, March. Ooh, cold. And there's a, yeah, and there's a spring run of, uh, of uh, big pings in there, too, big kings. But, yeah, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal watershed. Yeah, and just how being fun. Up in Northern you California. must have had a lot of fun doing that show. I did. Well, I went to Humboldt States. That's my okay, backyard. Okay. Yeah. I brought in one of my biology buddies I went to Humboldt with for years. We fished with uh, Phil Desitels, who's one of the best guides in the area, and had a blast, man. Yeah. It was awesome. Funny. Can you still see the show somewhere? Yeah, I'm sure WFM probably still reruns it because it was their production. They put you know money into that. so And it, it, it was very well received, so I'm sure you're going to still see reruns of that. Series on WFN, which is on Cox Cable, I believe now. Yeah, oh, really? Cox okay. gets WFN, so they do. All right, yeah, very man. good. Yeah, hey, thanks, Doug. Doug. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. That does free up eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. Go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's uh, let's talk to Luke. Luke's calling us from Laguna to go. Morning, Luke. Hi, Luke. Luke. Well, good morning, Pete, Bill, and Ryan. So far, Ryan, you're doing a great job. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Luke. He's killing it. Hey, I want to give a fish report, and uh, one that I think is pretty significant. I was fortunate enough to be on the Shogun that came in on Wednesday. Oh. And, oh, we had an amazing trip to Guadalupe. Um, Russ gave us a final talk there at the end and said uh, it was most likely the best big fish trip what? ever, what? any boat, what? any time. And uh, wow. the, those that were fortunate to be there, I'm sure half the guys... Uh, and one woman uh, had personal bests. But uh, here's just a quick rundown. We had 155 yellowfin. Uh, I saw one that was 60. Everything was over 70, and we had to have 50-plus over 100. Wow. Wow, Big, biggest fish uh, back at the dock with its guts and gills out was 138. So if you do the math to add that back in, it was over 100 and a half. Yeah, easily. Easy. Oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, yeah. We had 97 yellowtail, and I would say those were incidental, and that incidental big one was right at 50 with my buddy Andy. Oh, 50-pound <laughs> yellowtail. Wow. It, it was, and if you just worked it a little bit, fishing 80, it wasn't hard to get a bite. Wow. Um, yeah, you expect the Shogun to be top flight on, on every aspect, and it was. Aaron and Russ just ran a great trip. The food that Kenny prepared was spectacular, but those... Twenty-six of us, I guess, were very, very fortunate to see that place at its very best. Mm. And the best part is um, Michael Folks had uh, his guide uh, Don on, and he uh, captured the entire trip for a future episode. That, awesome. that, 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 that kind of fishing will be wow. Great. That's, that's going to be great. You know, uh, I talked to Aaron Barnhill the day it came back, and he was—I was, uh, was fortunate enough to get a little chunk of the fish that came off of that boat from Aaron. Uh, they do such a good job with that RSW on that boat, right, Luke? Oh, it was spectacular. I uh, I had a few sponsors from the neighborhood before I went, so I was <laughs> able to take uh, all my fish to uh, to uh, th- that came off the boat. And of course, it never saw it never saw the sun. It went in the hole, and then it went in the bins when we got off. And I was down two days ago picking it up over at Fisherman's Processing. And this spectacular. What a sweet yeah. service that is! If you're riding the yes. Shogun, the Royal Polaris, Royal Star. You don't touch your fish. You don't drag them out on the concrete. It goes right from the slush bin right into another slush bin, and then right next wow. thing you see, you see the the packages of uh, of filleted fish. It's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. Special, pretty special uh, deal there. That was a new experience for me because because I'm kind of old school because I'm kind of old, and we've always cut our own fish. And I just, when this was over with, I said, this is gentleman <laughs> yeah. long yeah. range fishing. You're yeah, done. Gentleman now, long range you're fishing. never cutting another fish again, are you? Uh, well, I brought one home because I wanted some raw, and so we cut it. And gosh, he did one fish, you know, one ninety-pound fish. Said I'm done. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. that was pretty good. Well, we're so, very grateful to the Mexican government for allowing that opportunity to happen again, and uh, we certainly uh, appreciate that opportunity and and the value of that amazing resource there. And 
it's good that you guys are it, taking good care of it and just taking what you need and letting the rest go. It is an incredible fishery down there, that's for sure. Yeah, you were there, right? Yeah, I was Ryan? down there about a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was How it was good amazing. was that? It was it was so amazing. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Yeah, best fishing trip ever? Yeah, one of them for sure, yeah. for sure. And it wasn't didn't even sound like our trip was the same caliber as that Shogun trip that got in either like we had really good fishing, but not that same quality. Yeah, you were on the raw players. Yeah, I was on the raw yeah. players on the 10-day yeah. trip. Sounds pretty good. Now we're jealous, right, Bill? Very. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quick question, though, Brian. Were the, were the great whites eating you guys up still? Or? You know, they, they, they were around, but uh, that's why it was nice that they were eating that 80 and 100 pound because you could you, you could, could pull on, on them. them. Yeah. yeah. And they, uh, they, they, they liked the bigger fish, it seemed like. Yeah. So it, uh, just a thought on the great whites. We, we uh, I tried to keep track. I think we lost about 15. But uh, they forgot. Yeah. They forgot how to eat tuna uh, on a sport boat like they knew five years ago. Oh, that's now, interesting. They'll get trained again. But right now they're they're there. But it really wasn't an it, issue. Yeah, I noticed the same thing on my trip. It didn't. It wasn't really a a huge factor. And there was definitely some heartbreaks. Some some real nice fish lost, but it, it but wasn't it like every one of the them. Wow or, factor, right? It really to does. See one of nature's absolutely. most incredible. Yeah, I mean, and, and I'll, I'll lose a fish to a white shark any day just to see the thing because they're really, really cool. They're amazing creatures, yeah. Hey, Luke, thanks for a great report from your uh, trip on the Shogun. That's really fantastic. What an opportunity uh, was presented to anglers, and I'm kicking myself that I didn't jump <laughs> on one of those. Trips. Yeah, you should when, when, we, when we were the first, here we were, the first to announce it here on <laughs> Let Us Talk Hookup. Here are these five-and-a-half-day trips on the Shogun, and I didn't even get on <laughs> one. I, I'm, something's wrong there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that again. I'm going. I got, I got lucky on mine because I was signed up for it for over a year, and they opened it right before we left. Yeah, so. it's timing is everything, yep. right, Ryan? Timing is yeah, everything. Yeah, it's a good thing, for sure. All right, that does free up. Eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety open right now. You want to get through, talk to Bill, make a comment, there's your chance. All right, let's jump back into him and talk to Matt. Matt's calling us from Newport. Morning, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, Matt. Great. So I just want to say I'm sitting in a home and there's some beautifully printed photographs on tile that I think are signed William on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. it. That's that's uh, yeah. voice image, right? Yeah. Did those so are you years. still doing those? You know what? I haven't done those in a while. I mean, I still get orders from contractors and stuff for showers or backsplashes and sinks and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, um, but um, I haven't put, like I said, I've, I've been so busy with this other stuff. I just really haven't been promoting much of that. Uh, sure. Or most of those just special orders that come through. Right. I don't work in right. trade shows. I, I mean, other than what the Fred Hall shows, I, there's really no place I really expose my art. Can you still order it on the Internet? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um uh, or come see me at Fred Hall this year. Okay. Know, I won't have much of that stuff in the booth, like I said. Have some. The Dollar Fishing Club. Oh, I'll have some of that art around just to, just to adorn the booth with sure. it. People can always order that stuff from me. Yeah, but that's pretty cool, Matt. Thanks for the purchase on that, buddy. Yeah, right. no worries. Well, actually, I'm here with a friend. You might know her, Mona T. Mona T? Uh, well, <laughs> an old friend. Here, Mona T wants to talk to you. Sure. Billy. Mona, what up? <laughs> Hello. Tell Hi, me, how are you? Tell me a story. Make it a good one. I saw uh, my boyfriend, Matt, listens to this show every weekend. <laughs> he loves this show. Yeah. And uh, he showed me who was on the show, and I went, no way. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for listening this morning. How you been? Awesome. Right on. I'll let you talk to him again. Oh, All you're right. killing it, man. Have thanks a great a Sunday. Appreciate that. Appreciate the call this morning. That's pretty fun. That huh? is. Yeah. Old friends, right? That's awesome, man. Reun That's you reunited yeah. right here. We on love We love this industry. Yeah. Everybody loves this. <laughs> Everybody loves the fish. You want to get through, there is your chance. 858-457-1090 is open right now. All right. Let's jump back into them and talk to uh, Tom. Tom's calling us from San Diego. Morning, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hey, good morning, Hello. gentlemen. Hey, Bill, I, I missed hooking up with you, but uh, oh, Rick Jensen and his wife, uh, Nanette, and my wife Libby and I were walking around the Bisbee a couple times, uh, the black oh. and blue. You were filming there or yeah, had a booth, yeah, whatever? Yeah. Oh, yep. is that we one of the uh, Destination you, Baja? Yeah, we did a tournament show, right? Okay. So half of it was the Bisbee. The other half was the Los Cabos tournament, right, right. that the tourism board puts on. But um, had a blast just being down there. I mean, you know, nobody does tournaments like those tournaments down in Cabo. Yeah, pretty amazing. And, um, I mean, they are. The, the people are so fired up. It's just good to see that kind of activity at the Marine. Again, Tom, I'm bummed I didn't bump into you because we, we tried making that happen. But, uh, my God, you saw how crazy it was down there. 
Oh yeah, I'm telling you, there was there was no shortage of uh, adult beverages being consumed, <laughs> <laughs> or adults acting like kids. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's what it's all about, right? Hey, Tom, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. So, this uh, this uh, destination Basur. Basur. Mm-hmm. When when is it coming on again? Yeah, it starts airing in January. In January. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the first episode? First episode is Loretto. Going to be Loretto. And yep. what did you do in Loretto? Oh man, it was so fun. Well, you know. Have you ever heard of the Fishing for the Mission tournament? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, That's great been 25 tournament. years. Started off like 15 boats, just a bunch of friends threw some money in a hat and gave it to the church. All right. It's 25th year. Jimmy Duggins out of El Centro has operated it. And, you know, he's been the director. And Good people. It's just, oh, my God, such amazing people. And 85 boats now, and all this money goes boats? to the orphanage. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Money goes to the orphanage, the mission. They've got kids they've put through school that are now doctors in Mexico. So I thought, you know what, Jimmy, this was your 25th year and his last. Chris Wheaton, another good friend of mine who's on the show, he's taken over the tournament. So Chris is going to do an amazing job with it because he's really passionate about fishing and Loretto. But, uh, so we wanted to cover the Fishing for the Mission tournament, not the tournament itself, but let Jim Duggins tell us about it. But we went out and whacked a bunch of big yellows and some groupers and had some great travel moments, some good eat moments because it's all about cuisine, the culture of Mexico, okay. and the fishing and like I said, it's like Anthony Bourdain oh, goes fishing. Yeah. What, now, where was your favorite? I know some really good restaurants in, in uh, Loretto. What are some of your favorites down there? Well, there's a Cafe Olé. Uh-huh. We love our breakfast down there. Yeah, right? yeah. We start our day there. And uh, i got to admit, sometimes I sneak some tequila and uh, Kahlua down there. <laughs> yeah. coffee. And, then, um, uh, and then we love the Mita Gourmet. The Mita uh-huh. Gourmet. Mita Gourmet. And he's open late. He'll Ooh. cook your fish for you like wow. a lot of them do down there. Yeah. But super nice people. It's right there on the town square, right yeah. across from the government building there. And Amazing how a little town can have so many good restaurants. Oh, so many great restaurants. El Nido, I love the that steakhouse yeah. there. Yes, El Nido's oh, great. Oh, man. And then is McLulu still there? I heard she was retiring. I do not know. Yeah, the fish taco place. right? The, the fish taco there. place. I think she is still yeah, there. Yeah, wow. But oh, I know Loretto's a great place. It's a really great destination. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's... Not a limited number of flights. I believe they have a flight out of, out of Los Angeles a few days a week. Mm-hmm. But it's a it's a it's a pretty neat destination. Did you get up in the mountains to the mission? We did that during the Bill Boys Baja series we did a couple of years ago yeah. at the San Javier. I've never been there. All those years driving past that uh, that that uh, road, and never butched up and did it. And last two years ago we did, and it was, it was amazing. Cool. Yeah. To think that some guy's walking around in sandals and a skirt and puts a stick on the ground and goes, I'm going to build it here, and now i got to find some people to do it. <laughs> Can you imagine the real estate salesman those guys were to the local Indians? <laughs> oh, man. You know, oh, hey, listen, we're going to build this, like, really cool church. Yeah. Like, What's a church? Up in the mountains in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, love for it. sure. Hey, you want to get through 858-457-1090. There's a line open there, and 877-792-1090, a line open there. And when we come back, we're going to get a catch report, find out what's biting out there, get more from Mr. Bill Boyce. So stay with us. Let's talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. Everyone likes special treatment. You know, kind of feel like a VIP. Well, that's how our listeners are treated at Poway Valley Collision. I have personally heard of several stories of how well our friends Jim and Mary take care of their customers that we sent them. Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them today, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And listen to this. Our listeners get a special discount that can save you hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. Just tell them you listen to the show and you get the deal. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, Met life wawanisa and more just bring your car or truck to them and let poway valley collision do the rest i have had my truck repaired at poway valley collision and the job was perfect so get your vehicle fixed right at poway valley collision tell them you listen to let's talk hook up and they'll save you money on your repair poway valley collision 14211 garden road in poway check powayvalleycollision.com are you feeling that itch to get out on the boom come fishing on the american angler and reacquaint yourself with some familiar faces and make new friends Captain owners Brian Kiyohara and Sam Patella take pride in every aspect of the American Angler operation, from their loyal and trusted crew to the sashimi-grade fresh fish you'll take home. It's easy to find a vacation that fits your schedule. We have everything from day and a half to 10-day trips and longer. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. We want you to become a part of the American Angler family. It's time for our Power Pro 60-second seminar, and on your next fishing trip, getting the Power Pro advantage is key. And Ryan, I know you work at Fisherman's Sign and Tackle. You tie a lot of uh, Power Pro to yeah. Mono, Power Pro to fluorocarbon. What's your favorite knot? You know, my favorite knot for up to about 50 or 60 pound is that a uh, Royal Polaris or John Collins knot. Yeah, it's pretty easy, and it works. Any suggestions? 
when you're connecting those two to make sure that that is a good connection? Uh, just pull on it really hard before you fish with it because it'll usually uh, usually fail on you when you pull on it if you did something wrong. Yeah, so easy, five up, five back. Five up, five back, and cinch it down. Yeah, and that's all there is to that's it. Bill it. Boyce, do hey. you have a favorite connection? Yeah, you know, I learned one down in Mexico this year from some of the mates, and I don't know what it's called, but uh, to me, I actually prefer it to the knot you guys are talking mm-hmm. about, and I don't even have a name for it. I'll just call it the Mexican. It's the one you put the Bill Blank on. No, I'm not going to put my name on that. No. <laughs> well, no. either way, whatever you want to do, Power Pro makes tying knots connections easier. Check it out at your local deal, dealer, Power Pro. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long range fishing experience. A spring eight day, summer five day, or a fly down fly back 11 day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top of the line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. The sport fishing Association of California is taking a leadership role to broaden the fishing opportunities for Southern California anglers. And Saturday, December 12th, Pete Gray will be traveling to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, with the president of SAC, Captain Ken Frankie, and his staff to host a very important live broadcast from Pueblo Benito Rose Resort in Cabo. The broadcast will feature some key personnel from Mexico fisheries and help strengthen the ties with a sport fishing fleet in Southern California and Mexico. They will also discuss the great fishing opportunities available in Cabo San Lucas. SAC's mission is to promote tourism through marine recreation and educational activities while protecting ocean resources. By working together with Mexico, we can show our care for the resources, both at home and across the border, and our desire to take an active role to help protect the future of our fisheries. So mark your calendar for Saturday, December 12th, a very special live broadcast from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, with the Sport Fishing Association of California. Check California's sportfishing.org for more information. XSRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You are listening to the home of the Aztecs. He's gone. Touchdown. Aztecs. San Diego Sports Leader. The Mighty 1090. Welcome. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here along Ryan Christensen co-hosting sitting in for Rock Codrick, Mr. Bill Boyce. An extraordinary guy that's kind of does it all and uh, is now starting a new venture, Dollar Fishing Club. That's got, that's going to be exciting stuff. Well, it's time for the catch report. Catch report today is op- is sponsored in part by Job Site Supplies, specializing in the mechanical, electrical, and the plumbing trades with lines like Milwaukee Electric Tools. We personally know these guys. They're great guys. They're great fishermen, and they and they fish hardcore too. And they are serious too when it becomes to dependable job site delivery and the best in Milwaukee too. You want to do business with the good guys, check out JobSiteSupplyCo.com for more details and talk to those guys at Job Site Supply. Let's head south. Rock Cod Rick Maxa is on the Royal Star. Good morning, Rock Cod. Hey, what's up, boys? Bill hey. Ryan P. Hey, How are you doing? Hey, hey doing great, really great man. I'll bet you're really missing being in the studio here, right? <laughs> not right now or not, man. We're uh we're having a pretty good time doing a little on the water field research, man. This is a really good one. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, we saw the post yesterday on the Royal Star website. You got a nice one yesterday. Congratulations on that. What's going hey, on thank this you. morning? It's your boy. We uh, we had a really nice hit um, starting in the dark this morning, and uh, we got a deck load of nice ones. You know, a little bit smaller grade, sporty ones. So you know, n- nothing under fifty pounds, like. 50 to 130 pounders, I would say. A lot of them in that 60, 80 pound range. Um, really fun, you know, dark bite kind of thing. Started at like 3 o'clock this morning and they were biting that flat fall really good. I, nice. I got three on the flat fall this morning with the biggest one going about 85 pounds or so. It's just been such a rad morning. So, uh, <laughs> yesterday when I talked to you, you know, it was our first day. We were just kind of getting in the zone. And then yesterday afternoon, Kind of a slower day, you know, middle of the day pick, and then uh, as soon as it started to get a little bit later and the sun started to think about going down, boy, it it, uh, it got going, and we had some really nice fish going yesterday, lots of fun. It was just a, uh, it's what long range fishing is all about. The weather is absolutely fantastic. The boat's great, and the big ones are definitely biting. 
Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I saw that you got one 194, and then Neil Barber, your roommate and boat partner with your new Parker there, uh, 245, is that right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was okay. a beautiful fish. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have Stas Delanakis, the guy on that boat. You're, you mean Neil and you caught a bigger one than Stas? Well, yesterday we did, but we're just leaving it at that. <laughs> that, guy, that, guy, that guy gets bit, man. Let me tell you, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty impressive to watch. Yeah, I'll bet. You have a great crew on there, and Captain Tim Ekstrom, Captain Paul Carameo, and Drew at the at the helm in the in the galley. There, it's got to be good times. I, I, I don't want to rub it in or anything, but I'm only telling you because you know how good it is. But Drew has been amazing, and, and uh, we've got a, a, a really good guy. He's been on the trip a couple times before, Kamel, and he owns a, a, a seafood company up in, uh, in Anchorage, um, and he brought down a bunch of food, and it's been crazy watching Drew just go off. You know, we've had king crab legs mm. and spot prawns oh, and, like, man. all these different things that Drew's, like, incorporated into the crazy food that he does already. It, it's, it's so bitch and peak. We're oh. having a great time. Oh, I'm getting hungry already, Rick. Well, that's fantastic. Well, you uh, continue to have a great trip on the Royal Star, and we'll look forward to seeing you at the Pueblo Benito Rosé right on the beach in Cabo San Lucas, pretty much right where you'll be anchoring up the Royal Star next Saturday morning. You guys will be able to take the ponga straight in from the boat, walk up the beach, and then put the headphones on and get behind the mic and join us for that Sport Fishing Association of California uh, great broadcast a week uh, uh, next Saturday, this coming up Saturday. How about that, huh? You got it, man. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. I know Tim is going to be joining us. We're going to have a great time talking all kinds of fishing, and we'll fill you in about what goes on this trip for the rest of the week. All right. Awesome. Sounds great, Rick. Well, good luck. Get those big ones, and appreciate the call live from the Royal Star. We'll see you in Cabo next Saturday. Say hi to Thanks, Tim boys. and Scott. Hey. All right. All right. Thanks. See you, Rick. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and continue that. Great catch report. Who do we have now, Ryan? Let's uh, let's go to Dana Wharf and talk to our good buddy Brian Woolley. All right. Good morning, Brian. Hey, what's happening, guys? How are you this morning? Uh, oh, good, Brian. Good morning, Woolley. Great. Good, good. Hey, you know we had a we had a week real similar to uh, last week's report. You know, it, gosh, the weather was certainly perfect for us this week. It really helped us out. You know, we've been trying really hard to keep that deep water yellowtail that's uh, you know close to home here at the forefront of our efforts this week. You know, it's all. It's all been that deep water sonar school type of fishing. We've been seeing uh, the schools of fish pretty good the last few days, but you know there's been a couple factors that have made the catching part a little bit a uh, little bit more tricky than we'd like to see it. You know, we've been first of all the sea lines have been kind of eating us alive when we get fish hooked, or you know you go to set up on a school and they're getting between the, the anglers' lines and jigs and actual school of fish and kind of pushing that stuff away from the boat. But uh, you know there's also been a ton of uh, that pelagic red crab out in the, the zone that we've been fishing too, so the fish are are keyed in on that stuff too. But uh, let me tell you that the schools that we're seeing down there, they're they're building from day to day, and it's it's all a good sign. And with that feed there, uh, you know, certainly it's it's what we want to see to keep that fish around. So we're telling our anglers to bring their heavier gear. You know, fish that 80 pound braid with the 50, 60 pound leader. You know, we're getting bit on that, no problem on both. You know, the drop the loop mackerel or sardine, and you know, with the yo yo jig. So the fish we're getting to the boat is those guys that have the heavier gear that can just, you know, put the screws to the fish and get them, get them up quick. So, uh, we seem to be, uh, you know, we'll keep after that stuff this week, certainly. Uh, and then on the half day, you know, locally, the stuff close to the harbor, it's just, it's been really fun half day fishing. The kelp bass fishing is just, you know, just about anywhere below or above our harbor. It's, it's been biting really good. The water's been nice, 63 and a half, 64 degrees, uh, and super clean. And it's just, it's been biting. You know, the guy's fishing the swim baits and the rubber lure. It's just about a fish every single cast. And it's perfect. Cut their teeth, fly lining and anchovy, you know, getting used to fishing that live bait. It's just been, a, it's been fun fishing on the half day stuff too. So we've been adding a halibut or two to the derby uh, leaderboard as well throughout the week. Just about every week we're getting new names on that uh, Dana Worth halibut derby leaderboard. So keep your eyes on that as that continues to grow. There's been some real good sign ups and halibut out front of the harbor too. So. Imagine our guys fishing those trips are going to be uh, focusing in that little sector as well. So that's kind of what we got going on up here at Dana Wharf. Remember, guys, you can link us on the Let's Talk Hookup webpage and save that 25% on one of these local trips. It's super easy. Click over, use the code, and that uh, book's in there. Or you can call us at the landing. We'd love to have you out with us this week. The phone number there is 949-496-5794. Of course, you can check us out on the web, too, at DanaWharf.com. Fantastic. Really good report there, Brian. Sorry to hear those sea lions. Oh, what a menace. 
Oh, well, yeah. We need to bring some oh, of those yeah. white sharks up here. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You know, you, you get a fish hooked, they eat it, and you got to go find a school real quick and get the boat bit while he's eating that one, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's been so. Oh, boy. Playing the game. All right, Brian. We'll sure appreciate that. Right on the front page of the Let's Talk Hookup website, hookup1090.com. Uh, link that. Save a lot of bucks on a great trip there at Dana War Sport Fishing. We'll talk to you next Saturday. All right, guys. Or Sunday, excuse me. <laughs> we'll yeah, talk to you next Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, All right guys. Right. Appreciate care. that. All right, Willie. Hey, Jim Salazar, our lobster guru, is on the line. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Bill, Ryan, and Pete. Hey, what's morning, up, Jim? Nice to hear from you, Jim. Thank you. I was on last week. I made a quick comment about the uh, commission meeting, but I wanted to say something about it again. But, Bill, I wanted to thank you first for all the artwork support that you've given the CCA. Thank you so much. Oh, man, I feel, of course, of course. I'm really glad to see you guys on this side of the world and uh, hope, uh, hope for big things in the future. Me too, me too. We were over at the, uh, Wayne and I were over at the White Sea Bass Hatchery in uh, Hubs this uh, last Tuesday. We had a meeting with them and a tour, and then uh, we met again on Wednesday with all the uh, grow-out pen managers and Boy, we have some big plans for uh, CCA. We want to bring it back up to uh, where uh, United Anglers had the uh, white sea bass head return program going. So we want to get it back up to those standards again. That's great to hear. Congratulations on that. Love to talk to Wayne about it. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing going. But uh, what I want to talk about, Pete, was the uh, December 9th meeting this Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. at Town and Country Resort and Convention Center at 500 Hotel Circle in San Diego. Um, it's the uh, Fish and Game Commission meeting. And they still call it Fish and Game Commission, by the way. Um, and it's item number 12 is the introduction or the presentation of the draft of the fishery management plan for lobster to the commission. So it'll probably be midday or just before lunch, hopefully, so I can get back up to L.A. and not hit the traffic. But, uh, but Pete, I had another item I wanted to talk about. Did you read Kerry Wilson's article this week? Uh, I did. I saw that in Western Outdoor News and makes me scratch my head, and I – can't understand her answer there. That just doesn't make any sense. I don't get it either. I think she got her meds wrong this week or something. But uh, <laughs> her meds wrong. Oh, oh Jim, Carrie's a nice lady. Now come I, on. I love her. I love, yeah. I love her. Love I love Carrie. her, and she's. Yeah. I love her, and she's been really good to us over the years. But this yeah. one was way out yeah. of left field. So, so go ahead and explain it because it it was really well, out of some, left field. Somebody asked about measuring lobsters and how are you supposed to bring the nets to the surface and accurately, accurately measure them without pulling the nets on board. So she said lobsters cannot be brought on board boats or kayaks for measuring and must instead be measured at the water line. Yeah. She says she says to pull up the hoop net, step on the line and lean over and measure it. Yeah. And then she says, though I know, easier said than done in the dark and in rough seas. <laughs> now I have never, never, never in all my years of lobstering heard this before. And in all my discussions during the lobster advisory panel meetings, we never talked about any tweak of the regs to clarify this. Yeah. Because further on down the line, she says, and she's quoting from the regs, she says, no undersized lobster may be brought aboard any boat and retained. Well, that's the key phrase right that's there. That's the key retained. Retained. They're retained, yes. You're not retaining them. If you put shorts in a bucket or in your fish hold or in your uh, bait tank, well, you're retaining them. But if you have them in a net on your deck and you're measuring them and tossing them back in, I don't see the problem. So I'll get in touch with Carrie. Yeah. I really, yeah. I really didn't mean anything mean by that. No, I, was I know. On that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was kind of a goofy answer, and normally Carrie is so right on on that that please do some more investigation on that, and we'll get a clarification. But I would say, yeah, you can measure, you can bring the net on board and measure a lobster. Yeah. I believe so too. Yeah, Otherwise, because you, that way you can accurately, it. accurately measure yeah. a lobster. Anyhow, how are you going to accurately measure a lobster that's borderline when you're leaning over the side and with splash in their face, right? Yeah, exactly. No way, no, no way, uh -uh. especially on some nights. No, so guys, uh, on, the, on this commission meeting, getting back to that, it's not really as important as we thought it was going to be because they're not presenting the reg package. It's just the draft of the FMP. So if you want to come to the meeting and make a statement, come and say something. But the real meeting is going to be up in Sacramento in February when they present the reg uh, package. So I'll be up there, and uh, I believe Wayne will be going up there too. Yeah, well, thanks all right, for all your work. good work there, Jim. Great we sure work. appreciate your efforts for keeping lobster fishing proper for the recreational angler. We appreciate that. All right, let's go to our surf guru. Gundy Gunder. So what's up, Gundy? Gundy. Hey, what's going what on, guys? Gundy. Gundy. Gunder, the Gunder. Hey, tell Salazar I took my meds this morning. Tough crowd, tough crowd. It is a tough crowd. 
<laughs> hey, you know, I told you that uh, with this cooling water, we were getting some, some really nice conditions. And uh, lots of bait moved in, cleaner water, not as much junk in. And, and I tell you, we're in December here, and we've got a lot going on. The, the uh, Basically, three bites developing. The perch bite is, a, is gaining steam. we got cooler water. More and more of that one- to two-pound fish is showing on most beaches. The best quality has been, of course, up north, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Oxnard, that area there. Number two, the halibut bite has been improving. Cool water, lots of bait inside, and it's really drawn a lot of fish in both shorts. It's not just all that short stuff. There's a lot of legal fish in the mix now. Spoons like crocodiles, feathered cast monsters, hard jerk baits like flash minnows, x wraps all, all those things working real well. The best beaches uh, going down the coast, 72nd place, Bolsa Chica Inlet has been really good. River Jetties, Main Beach, Cotton, South to Trails there, uh, the lagoons. Ponto, Del Mar, Rivermouth, all reported fish this week. Good time to get a halibut in the surf. But the third bite, and the most interesting, is the striped bass. Lots of reports of striped bass this week. A few fish were reported in that river jetties, Newland area there, four to eight pound fish. The guys were getting them on the, the lugworms there. Several fish were taken under the birds off surf side. And these were nicer quality fish. The guys at Big Fish yesterday said three fish came in. 8 to 12 pounds Whoa. right there off the 72nd place jetty. And then South Bay Pete, 18-pounder striped bass taken off Hermosa and a 30-pounder taken in King Harbor this week. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> striped bass have arrived. That is yeah. awesome. That is so yeah, cool. that is so awesome. Gundy. So, uh, really awesome. interesting stuff, you know. And just think about bait concentrations and freshwater sources like river creeks, river channels. That kind of stuff to orient those striped bass. But, heck, man, good week to go wouldn't, get one. Wouldn't that be yeah. cool to have a real striped bass mm-hmm. fishery in Southern California? That mm-hmm. would be really fun. It would be. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I tell you, you know, that stretch in South Bay, they've been getting them pretty much all summer. You know, it's it's interesting development here, but something to definitely pay attention to. Yeah. Thanks, Gundy Gunderson, our surf guru extraordinaire. Thanks for that. And we'll talk to you next week. Have a great week, guys. All Thank right. Gundy. Thanks a lot. That is our catch report today. And it is sponsored in part by Fisherman's Process, and we talked about them before. It's the long-range season and time to pre-book your order, uh, like Luke was talking about. Your boat comes in. You get you give your fish to Fisherman's Processing. You're first in line and first out the door when your trip returns. Friend them on Facebook at Fisherman's Processing, or for more details, check Fisherman'sProcessing.com and be spoiled like they were, we were talking about earlier. You'll never go anywhere else yeah, once you go with sure. Fisherman's Processing, no doubt about it. Hey, you want to get through? 858-457-1090 or 877 877- Seven nine two ten ninety, and when we come back, we're going to take more of your call, phone calls. Talk more to Mr. Bill Boy. Stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty Ten Ninety. Alaska is one of the ultimate fishing destinations in the world. This is Rock Cod Rick, and every year, the one trip I look forward to is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. My dad and I have been going for over fifteen years, and I just can't wait to go again. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, the finest fish. Fishing charter captains in all of Sitka and the ultimate value. Sure, I've been to others, but time and time again, nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. You can catch huge halibut like the ones we do almost every year, and salmon? Well, Sitka is famous for some of the best runs in Alaska. We also get plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. And listen to this, it's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except the tips. It's truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Come and join me on the Let's Talk hookup trip in June, or just go when you can. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136, or check kingfishercharters.com. The Sport Fishing Association of California is taking a leadership role to broaden the fishing opportunities for Southern California anglers. And Saturday, December 12th, Pete Gray will be traveling to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, with the president of SAC, Captain Ken Frankie, and his staff to host a very important live broadcast from Pueblo Benito Rose Resort in Cabo. The broadcast will feature some key personnel from Mexico fisheries and help strengthen the ties with a sport fishing fleet in Southern California and Mexico. They will also 
discuss the great fishing opportunities available in Cabo San Lucas. SAC's mission is to promote tourism through marine recreation and educational activities while protecting ocean resources. By working together with Mexico, we can show our care for the resources, both at home and across the border, and our desire to take an active role to help protect the future of our fisheries. So mark your calendar for Saturday, December 12th, a very special live broadcast from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, with the Sport Fishing Association of California. Check CaliforniaSportFishing.org for more information. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying where everyone knows your name, well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guest names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Rancho Leonero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-2252. 1-800-646-Baja. And RanchoLeonero.com. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You are listening to the home of the Aztecs. What's that clam dunk? That's what I'm talking about. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Information is the key to success, and inside information is even better. When it comes to fishing, inside information is critical, and that's what FishDope.com delivers. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and save fuel. FishDope.com is the only SST service with a satellite oceanographic PhD on board, the only fish-finding service with a spotter plane. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com boasts the largest largest code group anywhere, covering sport boats, commercial boats, and private boaters. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. What I'm telling you is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, good luck. Membership costs less than 40 gallons of gas for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, stay tuned for the special code to save $20 on a Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Want to catch the yellowfin tuna of a lifetime but don't have weeks at a time to commit trying? Then check out Journeyman Sport Fishing in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Based in Nuevo Vallarta, Journeyman offers an angling dream come true. Outstanding world-class fishery, immaculately maintained and outfitted boat, ultra-limited competition at the rail, and a Journeyman crew that has the experience and passion to make your angling dreams reality. A two-and-one-half-day trip offers two full days of fishing from sunup to sundown and only requires four days away from your other commitments. In the 2013 season, Journeyman landed dozens of yellowfin, over 200 pounds, and several over 300. Choose the trip that fits your schedule. Two and one half, three and one half, up to eight days of the ultimate fishing for giant yellowfin tuna. For complete details, check the web at journeymansportfishing.com or contact 619-571-1979. Journeyman Sport Fishing, where angling dreams become reality. The summer fishing season this year was nothing short of incredible, and every Everyone I talk to is expecting continued success well into the fall season. Your San Diego County Ford dealers are having a remarkable summer, too, with no sign of slowing down. They continue to hook people up with a great selection of models that offer outstanding MPG and advanced technology, like the fun-to-drive Focus and the popular Fusion, available as a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid. Ford also has an impressive list of SUVs, like Escape, Edge, Explorer, and Expedition. Well, no matter what you need, Ford has an SUV for you. And for serious fishermen that have boats to haul and gear to move, you can't beat the Ford F-150. It's not only stronger than ever, it's 700 pounds lighter, so it's faster and more efficient. Bottom line, Ford cars and trucks and SUVs are built for San Diego. Stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. 